Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. I've been playing Fallout 4 for a couple of hours now, and a few things have been bugging me. And uh, I'm sure Bethesda has their reasons for doing this, but basically, it has to do with field of view, X versus Y sensitivity, and mouse acceleration. So, you know, we wanted to change those, and they're relatively easy fixes. It's all any file tweaks, and these are something you can do basically on your own. But first, let's go into game and show you what I'm talking about. So here we are before the changes. You can see the field of view is set at 70%. Uh, I want that a little wider. Most first-person shooters are at 90. So we're going to change that. And you can see there's a little something a little funny. You know, the mouse acceleration is there. So the faster you move the mouse, the more it moves. So it accelerates. It's called mouse acceleration. And we need to fix that as well. And you can see the last thing that I noticed, it was the mouse moved faster up and down versus left and right. I thought that was kind of strange. It didn't seem right to me, and that had to do with X versus Y mouse sensitivity. So we'll change that as well. Let's get in and we'll show you the changes. So basically, you know, one of the, the things that we're going to need is some files, and the first one we're going to go get is the documents, and you can see down here I'm going to have multiple pages open here. And you're going to look for your PC, Documents, My Games, Fallout 4, and you're going to need those two files. I'm going to put the instructions up above that so we can follow along. And my suggestion is to open the, both these files with a program called Notepad++. If you're relatively new to modding, this is going to be a basics on how you adjust all these files. And my suggestion is to go get it, Notepad++. Just go and right click, select the file, right click, open with Notepad++. We're going to open both the Fallout 4 any and the Fallout, Fallout 4 prefs.ini. So go ahead and open them both up and you'll have them side by side. And you can just go ahead and click back and forth. So the first thing we're going to fix is the X versus Y sensitivity right there. So it says to go into your Fallout 4.ini and you're going to scroll down to controls. And if you just look under controls, it's right there. So this is a very simple change. You can see F mouse heading X scale equals 0 0.021 and F heading X Y scale 0 0.021. So they're equal. Now on a 16 by 9 ratio monitor, X is your 9 and Y is your 16. If everything was equal, this number should be higher than your X scale. So if you do your calculations on a calculator and you do 16 by 9 equals x over 21, however you want to do that, it comes out to a very simple number, and that number is over here. 0 0.3733. Okay, so we'll just input that number, 0 0.3733. That's a simple change. Go ahead and save that file, and that's all you're going to do. You come up here and save. So there you go. Now it's been saved in your fallout4.ini. Now, we're going to go on to mouse acceleration. Mouse acceleration, you're going to need both of them. Since we're already in the Fallout 4 any, we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So under controls, yet again, controls is right there where we already changed the F, F mouse heading X and Y scale. You're going to add an extra line. Go ahead and add it like that. And go ahead and I'll include all these instructions in the description so you can get to them easily. You're going to go ahead and highlight B mouse acceleration equals zero copy, and then paste it in. Just like that. Go ahead and save that file again. And you're going to do the same thing with your falloutprefs.ini. Go down there, and you're going to go down to controls, which is farther down on your any file. And you're going to add another line. And we're going to paste it in. There you go. So that is saved. Save it. So now we've done both X and Y sensitivity and mouse acceleration. We don't need to make those changes anymore. Now we're going to get down to the field of view change. And this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to need both the Fallout 4 any file and the Fallout prefs any. Now what you're going to do is go for display, which is towards the top, and you're going to add some extra lines. And these are the lines right here. So both in the Fallout 4 any and the Fallout prefs dot any, go ahead and add a line right like that and you're going to copy 
both these lines, F default world FOV equals 90 and F default list first person FOV equals 90. Go ahead and paste those in. And paste. There you go. Now F default world FOV equals 90 and F default first person FOV equals 90. So there you go. So you now go ahead and save that file and you go to falloutprefs.any and you're looking once again for display. So it is up here again. You see there's the display heading and we are going to add a line at the bottom of this and you go ahead and paste it in there. Paste the same thing, right? F default world FOV equals 90. You can go ahead and save that file. Now both the fallout4.any and the fallout4prefs.any are completed. If we go ahead and close those. Now the next thing we want to go get is an any file that's actually in the main directory for Fallout 4. So if you go to you know Steam, Steam Apps Common, and you go to Fallout 4, you go ahead and open up the main directory. And you can see this is where all the stuff is. You know you're in the right spot. And then you can have the Fallout 4 exec. That's why you know you're in the right area. Now there's a file here folder called Fallout 4. Open that up and you find a different Fallout 4 prefs.any. We're going to go ahead and open that up again with Notepad++. There you go. Now, once again, you're going to go to the display section of this any file, falloutprefs.any, and you're going to add those same lines in that we added in the other two that you found in documents. Go ahead and copy that. Go to the bottom of display, add a line in, and paste that as well. And you can save it. It's pretty simple, guys. I mean, this is the basics of modding is changing your any files. So everything's been saved. We can go and close these all down. Let's go ahead in game and we'll show you what we did. So we've made the changes and let's check it out. You can see the field of view is slightly larger now and you can definitely tell that there's a difference. So that's good. It looks like we're at 90% or 90 degrees. And the mouse acceleration is gone. It is more normal now. It is not uh, going off in weird directions. And the X versus Y sensitivity has been fixed. So you have equal movement both left and right versus up and down. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep watching for more mods and tweaks in the future for Fallout 4. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.